horses who have been able to take this race out. But it's a, a good horses race and uh, I think we're going to see a nice finish to especially what has been a terrific day of racing. Of course, there's still one more race to come here at Rose Hill Gardens uh, and you'll be able to watch that on Sky Racing. And yes, you'll be able to take in that final leg, which is there's a couple of horses looking for Kosciuszko slots in that race. Um, and ones that already have Kosciuszko slots like Creon and Tanglewood. So if you're a fan of the Kosciuszko and that concept going forward, it's probably a race that you might want to take in. Final thoughts? Uh, for this race, I am with Celestial Legend. Keen to see what Bases Loaded does. And note there has been a late move as well for Ossipenko. Here we go. Here's in the previews. Ready now for race nine. They're set to go. And they're racing. Celestial Legend was last out of the gates and being ridden up there by McAvoy. A more victorious jumped away sharply from Punch Lane. New Endeavour going forward. Basis loader wasn't great out court. Wide rolling forward going to fourth on the outside of Vandersnatch. Freedom Rally there on the rails. Further back to New Energy, Ossipenko, Charterhouse, and Celestial Legends back equal last with Unspoken. Uh, they sort their order out of more victorious in front. Bases loaded, stayed wide there for the first few hundred metres, and now moves up on the outside of the front runner. Punch Lane, New Endeavour, next park right behind, two up to Freedom Rally, then Vandersnatch. Looks like New Energy's caught wide on the outside of Ossipenko, Charterhouse, Unspoken, and Celestial Legends back last. Yes, he's last and nine lengths off the lead. A more victorious in front. By length, the base is loaded. Punch lane goes to a clear third from New Endeavour. Two further back to Freedom Rally from New Energy. Then Bandersnatch. Celestial Legend still back last coming around the corner. A more victorious swings in front. By length, the base is loaded. New Energy's done a tough wide out. Then Punch lane from further back. Bandersnatch. Ossipenko at the 300. A more victorious two lengths clear from bases loaded. Punch lane. Then came New Endeavour. Ossipenko making some ground, but a more victorious, the one to get inside the 150, a more victorious two lengths clear. Punch lane coming off heels from New Endeavour, but a more victorious is going to lead all the way in the Shannon Stakes, beating Punch lane New Endeavour. Then Ossipenko, Celestial Ledger made some minor headway down the straight. On the outside of Clear Energy, then Freedom Rally, further back to Charterhouse Unspoken and Bandersnatch. Well, he stole that, did Tyler Schiller on a more victorious. Right there on speed, Blinkers sharpened him right up, third up into the preparation. He's been so consistent and so honest his entire racing career. That's his sixth win from 15 starts and a really good training performance from Bjorn Baker to put the shades on, sharpen him up. Really good win. Really good win. Let's have a look at a couple of runs in behind as well. Uh, Punch Lane, I thought, ran super as well. And New Endeavour found the line quite nicely. Osipenko, you can see him going.